In this video, we will learn about the period and frequency of a signal. So again, this is a licensed under Creative Commons Attribution. Um, coming to the first part, that is data. One of the major functions of physical layer is to move data in the form of electromagnetic signals across a transmission medium. The data usable to a person or an application is not in the form that it can be transmitted over a network. So if it has to be transmitted, data must be transformed to electromagnetic symbols. Data can be analog or digital. The term analog data refers to the information that is continuous. Digital data refers to the information that has discrete states. Both analog and digital signals can take one of the two forms that is periodic or non-periodic. A periodic signal completes a pattern within a measurable time frame called a period and repeats the pattern over a subsequent identical period. The completion of one full pattern is called a cycle. A non-periodic signal changes without exhibiting a pattern or cycle that repeats over time. In data communications, we commonly use periodic analog signals and non-periodic digital signals. Period refers to the amount of time in seconds a signal needs to complete one cycle. Frequency refers to the number of periods in one second. Period and frequency are just one characteristic uh, defined in two ways. Period is the inverse of frequency and frequency is the inverse of period. It is as shown here, the uh, equation. Frequency and period are inverse of each other as I specified. Now example, if uh, period is formally expressed in seconds, then frequency is expressed in hertz which is cycle per second, number of cycles per second. So if we give an example, the power we use um, for frequency is hertz, uh, is 60 hertz. So the period of the sine wave can be determined as 1 by f, 1 by f, so 1 by 60, that is 0 0.0155 seconds. So that is equal to 16.6, oh, sorry, 15.5, uh, it should be microseconds. So this is the other example. So what is, um, if the period of a signal is 100 milliseconds, what is the frequency in kilohertz? So using uh, the equation, we can find out. So um, for this, please find the answer. Thank you.